dynamic wear condition that is the next use case of this dynamic sql query how can you write a stored procedure that accept multiple input parameters and returns data filtered by provided parameters so this is the most common thing which we use in our daily projects so the question is uh, you have to write a stored procedure and i will pass uh, multiple filter parameter or search parameter and you have to return the data based on those input parameters or filter parameter so uh, based on your requirement you can uh, go with your approach but i will explain some uh, case here so you can uh, relate with this dynamic query as well so the first thing uh, dynamic query with progressive filter condition concatenation based on provided parameter this is the stored procedure i have already written so that we can you know uh, utilize the time in better manner the procedure is get user details by filters if you go here script restore procedure add create to new query editor window this is the stored procedure and here what i am doing i have just first created a complete sql statement with all those joins so it will return the data and after that we have to filter the records based on the input parameter so this is our actual main query and after that in the where condition i have to apply the condition for filtering the record so in this case i am using progressive condition first i am checking the name if name is not null and length why i am checking this not null and length because i have explained this in the previous uh, video that if you are not checking for the null value in that case your complete dynamic sql will be null so for each and every input parameter i have checked if and if it is there i am applying the condition name like this similarly email like this mobile number like this and name and user id if there is any so this is the first approach you have, you can think if, if if you have to use filter condition based on and condition if you see i have used and condition based on parameter i am filtering into the depth right so if you exclude this stored procedure you are getting all the data if you pass this alex name in the first uh, parameter that is name and others are optional parameter why optional because if you see i have defined all the parameters as optional parameter by null if you exclude this you are getting the data which name start with this alex alex alexander alex thomas right in the next query i am passing name as alex and email contains alex here we are basically using uh, contains or like query in this case i am passing two input parameter name and alex and email both if you exclude this query see only two or filter previously there are three records and now i have passed the email as well for the filtering which contains alex so you are getting we are getting only two record right in the second in the uh, last case if you see i am passing name and uh, user id where user id is equal to one and name is alex if you shoot this we are getting only one record because id is one and name is alex there, it is, there is only one record with this filter parameter in the last uh, case if you see i am passing email id name and uh, role name as well role name is admin now if you exclude this we are getting the records with role name super admin because there is no record this this admin but this match because we have used the like query 
so that's why we are getting the record and admin included in this super admin in the next case we have passed name email mobile number first two digit of mobile number and role name is admin in this case we are also getting the data in the last case i am using name email as same but mobile name i am using 89 and role name is admin now due to this mobile number 89 if you go and see the current case you are getting alex and in this case you will exclude this you are getting nothing because you have used and condition and there is no user for which the mobile number is 89 starting with this 89 now the second approach with the dynamic sql as well dynamic query having separate filter condition logic before building the final dynamic sql this is the stored procedure uh, let me show you this is stored procedure and this is stored procedure the input parameters are same but at this time what i have done first i have made the where condition i have used case name for email mobile number and role and after using all the filter condition at last I am building the query dynamic SQL query and I have appended each and every condition with and condition and if you see the previous case first I have written the dynamic SQL query and after that I am using the I am appending the filter condition both the ways are now if you exclude this stored procedure you can see the message as well along with this see the message what it returns the complete sql query where one is equal to one one is equal to one one is equal to one because for each and every it is turning to it so that's why it is returning complete data in the second case if you exclude this query you are getting the data input parameters are same for all the query and if you see the dynamic sql which is generated username like this and username like email for each and every filter condition you can see if it is not there it use one is equal to one it is nothing but always returns true one is equal to one is true here is also true here is also so all these parameters which is not there they will be used as by default true and the parameter which is passed they will be applied for the filtering similarly for other cases as well if you exclude this in both the cases you can see clearly the parameters which you are passing they are used for filtering the record now in previous two cases we have used null checking but you can use the coalesce function to reduce the number of cases and uh, number of course which you have done here so i have already passed uh, created a video on uh, null versus coalesce function so i will recommend you to please go and watch that video to understand what is the difference between is null and uh, coalesce function so the next stored procedure which i have created let me show you create a stored procedure as new query editor window here if you see what i have do what i have done here the complete dynamic sql instead of dynamic sql here i am using uh, a static query instead of dynamic because we know that the dynamic sql query is always 
dangerous because it is more open to the SQL injection and sometimes performance issue as well. So I have replaced this query with uh, coalesce function and I am using a like query to check with this and I am using and operator here as well. Now if you go and uh, execute this query, you can see that you are getting the records here and similarly based on your unit parameter, you can filter the records, two records and based on your requirement, you can uh, modify the query, whatever you want, but by using this, you can uh, remove the dependency of dynamic SQL. Now, the last thing which I will uh, trying to explain here is you can have if you, if there is requirement you can have only one input parameter and uh, if you want to filter across the column names or across the database so you can use a single a simple one input parameter and you can filter out data based on the single input parameter instead of uh, you know passing multiple filter parameter so in this historical procedure i have created only one uh, parameter input parameter based on that i am filtering the data script restore procedure new query editor window if you see i have defined only one input parameter is search parameter and i have to return the data which match with this search condition search parameter so i have used static query here no dynamic sql query here and in the where condition i am checking the value if search parameter is provider then go and apply this filter otherwise you have to return all the data and in this if search parameter is applied then you have to check for the name whether there is matching record with this name uh, this uh, input parameter and i am also checking for the email where there is any uh, user with that email which is passed by the user Similarly, for mobile number and name as well, role name as well, right? If you execute this query without any input parameter, you are getting all the data. If you pass some name like Alex, you are getting the data with this name, Alex. And if you pass some email ID like Alex, you are getting the data with email ID as well. If you pass some mobile number there, 89 you can see 8989 all the mobile numbers which contains 89 and at last if you are passing some role name there admin so you can see three records are there which contains role name as admin admin and super admin right so by this you can also use uh, the filtering of records without any dynamic sql so these are some common use case of dynamic sql and uh, in the next video we will see sql injection and how you can prevent the sql injection so i hope you have enjoyed this video if you have learned anything from this video please subscribe to the channel and uh, don't forget to like and share this video thank you very much for watching this video